okay see actually uh, in a support project so we need to explain uh, the changes what you have received uh, what you have received generally in a support project the first you have to understand that uh, basic thing so for example when you see uh, implementation team would keep that three levels of approvals okay three levels and for the value of uh, maybe zero means less than 50000 and uh, 50000 to uh, 100000 and more than 100000 like the three levels they have put it the support team what kind of changes they will get adding a fourth level okay okay adding a fourth level they want to add one more person for a fourth level okay maybe the value changes they want okay currently above 100000 third level right they want yeah. to have 100000 to 500000 third level and they want to have more than 500000 for a fourth level okay so such kind of changes will come to support one okay. example another example currently third level is uh, give access is given to mr suresh Okay. Now okay. the third level access they want to give to Mr. Uh, Abiram. Suresh is left leaving the company or something. So change that uh, user ID. Okay. So that ID you need to change either release code you will change because Abiram already has another release code. So that release code we will keep here. Okay. Or else only authorization wise the roles we will we may change without changing the release ID configuration. Okay. Okay. Just saying that Suresh authorizes to Abiram also. Yeah. So he he also can issue it. Okay. Most of the release code changes less process. So these kind of changes will come. Okay. Another kind of uh, changes in the support project uh, is, for example, we have a release strategy. Uh, three levels are already there. Okay. And uh, they want to have. Uh, they don't. They don't want to have a first level release for non. Uh, some consumption basic procurement. They have a separate uh, certain purchase group. No approval is required. Okay. Okay. So you will deactivate it. How do you deactivate? You will go to CL20 and uh, you will remove uh, the purchase group or any one value so that release charge is not triggered for that combination. Okay. B- business doesn't want uh, consumption basic purchase orders which are created by So for example, purchase group P01 and P02. For these purchase group, when they create, they don't want any problem because mostly that kind of, those two purchase group will create a uh, sequence of items or very less kind of uh, less price related things. Okay, and those uh, or else they need very quickly. They just order and immediately material will come. Or else material will come, then they will create a purchase order and do the goods issue. So that they don't have a luxurious time for um, sending to approver, and approval will be done in the evening. Okay, later okay. they will send to the PO to the vendor. That's not their business. Materials are already reached to the their house. Okay, then they create a PO and then do the goods. I'm saying different business example. Okay. Okay. So these kind of changes will come. Okay, and okay. or else they will they want to have a completely brand new release strategy. For example. They ask you to create uh, two new purchase groups, and for that purchase group, business is asking you to set up a new release procedure. First, okay. four document types. One is um, standard procurement. One is uh, financial based procurement. Okay, one may be service procurement. Okay, these kind of four examples you can take. 